All this cheese is for one pizza slice. Ooh, mama. Look at that. I'm gonna be here for a while. We are going for one slice the size of four entire pizzas. Hello, my name is Alvin. I am a tasty producer and I love making giant crazy food. So I got a message from my friend Noah and this guy is a huge pizza guy and he goes, hey, I saw your giant burger video. I'm gonna be in town tomorrow. Can I request a giant pizza? And the thing is, Noah and I used to go to this pizza place slices literally as large as your head and Noah is the only guy that I've ever seen finish two of them. This is starting to sound pretty exciting. So I'm like, ooh, okay, how big? Big, big. Like, dumb big. That's pretty big. I've also been getting a lot of requests to make a giant pizza, so I think I know what I'm gonna make today. I'm like, all right, I got you. What's up, dude? Yo, how's it going, man? How good, how about you? Good dude, to see you. I just got you my favorite pizza. Yeah. I want you to try it. Ooh, this looks really good. What do you like so much about this slice of pizza? Dude, well first, it's all about the crust. It has to be chewy, not too thick, not too thin. Perfect. And the sauce. A little sweet, a little salty, really, really smooth, and it has to really taste like tomatoes. Topping, cheese. Mozzarella, gotta go with pepperoni. It's just a classic. When all those things come together, you get this beautiful slice of pepperoni pizza. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can make you a giant version of this. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you in a bit, okay? All right, man. All right, see you, dude. <laughs> okay, let's make this pizza. First thing we gotta do, gotta make the pizza dough. Start with some warm water, some sugar. I'm gonna add yeast to this little bad boy. Let the yeast grow because yeast doesn't grow, dough won't grow. This recipe is actually a Tasty 101 pizza recipe by Claire and Brenda. I've never made pizza before. Oh, this recipe doesn't look too bad. Seven cups of, seven cups of flour. Guys, I take everything back. Two, three, four. Hope I have enough flour. Seven, this is a lot of flour. Then we got some salt, olive oil, and we're gonna pour in this yeast mixture. Okay, onto the mixer. <laughs> Actually, the recipe says to do it by hand. I am one lazy person, so Claire and Brenda, if you're watching and I mess up your recipe, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's not turning on. Please turn on. What the heck? Oh, there it is. All right, we're back in business. This is gonna go for 10 minutes and then we're gonna see how it is and we're gonna make the rest of it. Those actually looking really good. I'm just watching the stand mixer. It is a doing work right now. I just think if I had to do this by hand, might be here for a while. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little break, okay, bud? So I think some nice dough. You still have to work the dough a little bit because even though it's really mixed together, it needs to be in a really nice circle shape, so. All right, let's get some flour. Oh, God, <laughs> I missed, I totally missed. Let's get this dough all out over here. Ooh, this feels so nice. Yo, this is like a soft pillow. I think I did a really good job. This entire batch of dough is supposed to be enough dough for four total pizzas. Because usually six to eight slices in a whole pizza, right? We're not doing that. We are going for one slice that is the size of four entire pizzas. My precious little dough ball. So I think he deserves a little break. So I'll let you rest. While my dough takes a well-deserved nap, I'm gonna make this tomato sauce. I'm gonna use San Marzano tomatoes because these are really, really good tomatoes. These are kind of like the Ferrari of canned tomatoes. But this recipe makes enough sauce for about two or three pizzas, but I'm just gonna double it just in case, because who knows? Woo! Oh, there's some nice tomatoes. Look at how smooth and peeled they are. Oh my. Sorry, I gotta crush you though. <laughs> some sugar, onion and garlic powder, oregano, like Gordon Ramsay says. Some salt, some pepper. Crack the lack, it's starting to bubble already. Okay, let's drop this basil. For the basil, you gotta roll it up real good. The tighter it is, better. It smells like if my grandma was actually Italian and not Chinese. There's still a lot of chunks in here. I'm gonna use one of my favorite toys. This is an immersion blender. This thing turns all your chunky problems into one smooth solution. So here we go. Yes, there we go. That's what I like to see. See that? Oh God, I just got splattered. It was hot. Woo! That's better. That looks pretty good. It's thick a bit. Texture is great. Okay, sauce is done. Let's talk cheese. Usually in pizza, they use breaded mozzarella. Basically kind of like this. I could use this. I could. Is that gonna be too easy? A little bit. I wanna make, essentially, giant cheese shreds. How do you do that? I'm not sure, but I have an idea. Mozzarella blocks. Use this vegetable peeler and appeal giant cheese shreds off this. 
Whoa. That actually kind of worked. It's not bad. That's a cheese shred, right? That's like a giant cheese shred. Man, I love cheese. This is a big cheese shred. A little cheese shred. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's kind of crumbling over the place. It didn't work out so well. That's okay. We're just gonna shred this cheese normally. This grater's not that good either. Hold up. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. Wait, this one, this one makes giant cheese shreds. All right, looks like our plan was not so terrible after all. Look at all that great cheese shred. All this cheese is for one pizza slice. Just your everyday pepperoni. But, you guys actually know where pepperoni comes from? Basically, you take a giant sausage and you cut it up. I got these bad boys. These are some big pepperonis. You know I'm gonna be using these. Why be normal when you can be like that? Okay, let's see how my dough's looking. <laughs> <laughs> this guy grew so much. Let's take a look at you. Ooh, mama. Look at that. It's so perfect. Oh. Gotta tuck all those bad parts underneath. Kind of like when you're cleaning out your room. Shove everything that doesn't look good under the bed. Woo. He does need to rest one last time. Put a little blanket on my precious dough ball. We'll see you in an hour, okay? Bye-bye. So to make this giant slice, I'm actually gonna make a slice the size of the biggest tray I could find that we have that actually fits in the oven. We'll see how this goes. Woo, am I doing this right? How do the professionals do it? Oh, there we go. That's the stretch I'm talking about. Thanks, Gravity, you're the MVP. Oh, not bad for a first time. I'm gonna be here for a while. Nope, start shaping into its final form. It's been 25 years. We now have AirPods 3. Okay, we're almost there. I'm gonna be able to play the piano so hard. I'll walk into a massage parlor and they're gonna be like, hey, what kind of experience you got? I'll just pull up this YouTube video. <laughs> you gotta show the dough who's boss, that's right. Oh, that kind of hurt. Maybe a rolling pin would be a better idea. <laughs> Progress check. Seems long enough. Oh, it seems wide enough. Next challenge is to get this entire thing onto this tray. A little bit of Semolina. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> okay, not a very clean landing. The edges are getting a little squished. I'll probably just turn them off and eat them as scraps because I'm getting hungry at this point. This tray is about two and a half feet long. I did some math using Pythagorean's theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And this comes out to be Something along the lines of three feet. Because this pizza is so big, I wanna actually pre-bake the dough. I'm scared that if I put all the sauce and toppings on right now, the middle is just gonna be very, very soggy. 500 degrees for about five minutes. Okay, here is the dough that is pre-baked. Let's get toppings. We have giant mozzarella cheese shreds, homemade tomato sauce, and giant pepperoni. First, we gotta do the sauce. I like that. Don't get lost in the sauce, kids. I might have made too much tomato sauce. But that's okay, I'll just make like 20 pizzas later. Time for the cheese. Gonna make it rain. Oh wait, it's 2019. We're making it precipitate. Woo! I feel like those rappers, and they're just tossing $100 bills in the air. That's who I am right now, except I'm tossing cheese. When do I know when to stop? Man, this is fun. Okay, I officially ran out of cheese. Big pepperoni time. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like Oprah. You get a pepperoni, and you get a pepperoni, and I get a pepperoni. One, two. I'm dishing out them stacks. Final one. Oh, would you look at that? There's one left over. This is a thing of beauty. We have 18 giant pepperoni slices. This is a serving size for one person. If you are not me, this is enough for a huge party of like 20 people. This is gonna go in the oven 500 degrees for, I'm gonna say like 20 minutes, and then we're gonna go eat with no after that. Oh, this is. This is really heavy. Hey, Noah. Yeah? You want your pizza? All right, Noah, this is the size of one standard pizza. Is that right? Yeah, it looks right. All right, close your eyes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Open your eyes, Noah. Oh my god, Alvin. Oh my, wow. It's a big guy. It's a big, it's a big guy, do you like it? Yeah, oh man, dude, wow. Look at this, look at this pizza, dude. This is a little bigger than your normal pizza. So I got some leftover ingredients, so I made myself wow. a pizza too. <laughs> let's just get it right into All it. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, cheers, dude. Cheers. cheers. Oh, this is so good. This is awesome. You're doing really did a great job. The sauce, you know, the pepperoni, you even got the cheese just right. You think you can finish it? Huh. You used to finish two of those big slices back in the day. It'll take me a little time, take but little I think time. we can, yeah, we can use them out. I don't want any of this to go to waste. I got a couple of friends. I just need to cut off the bitten part and then we can go and share the rest. All right, let's go eat some pizza, guys.
Today was super fun, made a giant pizza. I think at the end of it all, it came out to be like three feet, which is really long. Just to see the love that people have for pizza is just really awesome. And Noah seemed pretty happy about it too, so that means I'm happy. And the thing is, I love making these crazy things. So if you have a food that you absolutely love, hit me up, leave a comment, send me a DM, let me know what your favorite food is, and I will do my very best to try and make a big version of that for you. Until next time, peace.